So here we have the Ford Fiesta EcoBoost Titanium X navigation on a 17 plate. I'm going to show you around the outside of the car first of all, and then we'll hop in and I'll run for a few controls on the inside. But as you'll see from the outside, it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you may notice that it's got reversing sensors. This car's also got reversing camera, which I'll show you in a moment. Plenty of boot space, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat as well. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car now, and then I'll hop in and run for a few controls on the inside. Now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in great condition the whole way around. Just briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. As you can see, you get full leather seats, which are in great condition, as is the carpet area. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, you'll see the fuel gauge, and then above that, in the center, you've got the total miles on this car, which are 10,827. You can change the information that's displayed there, by pushing the button on the end of the indicator stalk and as you can see various different bits of fuel economy information all the way back round to the beginning again. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we get stereo controls. The button in the middle is voice activation for the phone. So once you pair up a phone, hit that button, ask it to dial any one of your contacts list and it will do that for you. And then on the right hand side of the steering wheel we have cruise control. Uh, going back to the phone, it's set up on the stereo system in the middle here using the screen that you can see just there. Now, you can already see that this car's got FM radio. It also has DAB and AM radio as well. And in terms of other ways of listening to music, uh, you've got a CD player, USB input, and Bluetooth audio as well. So you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth. You also have satellite navigation on this car, which appears up on that screen. Uh, there's a full video of that satellite navigation on our Facebook page if you wanted to have a look at that. Uh, and the reversing camera, which I mentioned when we were outside the car. As you can see, you get a nice clear colour image and guidelines shown on the ground to show you which direction the car is headed in in relation to the image that you see. Uh, working our way down, we've got the CD player on that unit just there, uh, the satellite navigation buttons, we can change the radio band uh, frequency, um, and that auxiliary button will select the USB and Bluetooth audio, and you can see a CD player just at the top there. Beneath that, we've got climate control, so you can adjust the fan speed on the left-hand side, and temperature on the right hand side here. Uh, that button will turn the air conditioning on or you can hit auto and the car will maintain this temperature for you. Uh, what's useful obviously at this time of year, heated front screen uh, as well as the heated rear screen of course. Beneath that we've got the stop start. So this car is designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel when you're stationary. Uh, if you don't want to use that system, press the button that I've just pressed then it will turn it off otherwise it's always on. You then have the five-speed manual gearbox and directly in front of the gearbox, heated driver and passenger seats, which again, are really useful for this time of year. And then just down here below the uh, gear lever, we've got the 12 volt charging socket and the USB input. This particular car is keyless entry or keyless start. So you only need to have the key in the car and press the start stop button on the steering wheel or beside the steering wheel just here to start the engine. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.